Hello, hello everybody, it's your boy Prof Chop and we're back finally for real this time. Okay. Uh, actually back. I'm back. I missed y'all. And I was like, okay, what better video to come back to than horses OP tier zoo? Why? I, I don't know. I why not, huh? Now that's a question, so let's go, okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a horse. Listen. Ah, no. Hey, y'all know me. There's something wrong with me, okay? Why you kick that thing? What the hell is that thing? Ugly dog. God damn. Players have a wide selection of equipment to choose from when specking their character. True. Teeth, claws, stingers, spikes. Each weapon has distinct- Or you can be human and have nothing but a brain, okay? Hey, it did us good. Advantages and disadvantages Some in combat. Herbivore players tend to favor highly intimidating equipment like horns and antlers. In the African meta, things are taken to the extreme. True. With builds like the elephant, oh. rhino, and cape buff. Speaking of elephant, okay, I saw, I saw a video yesterday. A 30 second video. Have you seen- what they say about charging elephants, they say for you to yell at them and be big, okay? That's what they say. Okay, yesterday I saw a dude charging an elephant. Imagine how well that went. Well, let's just say that that's the first time I've seen a human pancake, okay? It didn't go well for them. Flow, rocking some of the most Don't threatening tusks and horns in the entire game. Don't. So you might be surprised to learn that one of the most... Rocking some of the most threatening tusks and horns in the entire game. So you might be surprised... Where can I drive my, my car and get attacked by a rhino in this universe? Tell me so I don't go there, okay? Guys, to learn that Jesus. one of the most successful builds in the African savanna is the zebra, a build with no obvious weaponry to speak of. The zebra? So what is it about the zebra build that has granted it such a dominant position in the savanna? We'll answer that question and many more in today's video, which was sponsored by Curiosity Stream. Hey, Curiosity Stream. To answer that question, let's zoom out a bit and discuss the incredible stats and abilities of the. Why are we zooming in on the horse? A reproductive organ. I can't say the other words on YouTube anymore. Okay, they 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 get mad. Okay. Entire equine faction, Jesus. including zebras, horses, equine. and donkeys. <laughs> let's begin with their stats. Right off the bat, it's plain to see that this is a highly mobility-centric build. With an Why is the power so big? Jesus. Above average power stat to back it up. With slightly above average intelligence oh. and f Speaking of horses, okay. I know I'm pausing a lot, but that's what I do, okay? Uh, when I was in, in Bulgaria, we have some horses around. We have the G-mans riding the horses around town sometimes, okay? And I'd seen some Bulgarian horses. They're like, I, they're bigger, right? But they're not that big. When I went to America, I was working there. Uh, they had that game where people with sticks on top of horses hit balls. Okay, Americans are weird. You all know that, right? They, they do weird shit. Those horses were not like Bulgarian horses. They were like... Like Bulgarian horse, American horse. And that shit was huge. Like huge. I was so scared I did not go near him. Fairly poor defense, HP, and stealth stats. At first glance, you might... Intelligence and fairly poor defense, HP, and stealth stats. At first glance, he just RKO'd a horse somehow. You might think that these stats belong oh. to a rushdown predator, something like a wolf or eagle, something that can overwhelm its target with speed and power, America. and either finish the attack before the defender has a chance to counterattack, or weave in and out of the defender's effective Buffalo. range, chipping away at it or tiring it out. Clearly, stats don't tell the whole story here. Imagine dying to a ass bite. Good way to die, huh? As all equines are herbivores. So let's delve a little deeper into the abilities and strategies that horses and all their- I think I remember somebody telling me that horses do not sleep. And they don't lie down. Which for a lazy motherfucker like me, that seems weird as hell. Variants utilized to right? survive. How does Seeing that as their highest stat is mobility, it's no surprise that an equine player's best defense against the predator player's attack is to run away. While not technically as fast as Oi. the max speed of a top tier predator, Horse builds are able to maintain high speeds for much longer, and because of this, builds like the big cat or bear have little chance of catching them without an extremely stealthy ambush. The horse's well, specialized hooves though. grant them a bonus to burst movement speed and allow them to ignore the movement penalties of rocky terrain. 
The likelihood of a successful ambush is driven even lower due to the horse's solid intelligence stat, which allows it to engage in herd behaviors such as individuals keeping watch to alert vulnerable teammates oh, of approaching bear. enemies. Taking shifts keeping watch is really important in a party of horse players <laughs> because horses need to spend ma- Hey, you can say they don't horse around. Massive amounts of time grazing. See, horses did not spec into the ruminant perk, which means they can't extract nearly as much energy Jesus. from grass as builds like sheep and cows can. This was an intentional trade-off to as much energy. Ruminant animals contain a four-chamber stomach. R r ruminant animals have the ability to swallow grass and later regurgitate it in a form of cud. They chew the cud and swallow it for further digestion. Wait, so you eat, you puke, and then you eat it again. Sounds disgusting. Energy from grass, as cool. builds like sheep and cows can. This was an intentional trade-off to keep the build much more lean and agile than ruminants, well, enabling them to dash quickly and jump great distances. But because I, the amount of time they- Hey, I can do that as well, okay? That ain't that impressive. They need to spend feeding with their heads down is around double that of an equivalent-sized ruminant. There's no way they'd be able to avoid an ambush alone. If they do get attacked, the chase begins, and this is where one of the horse's other core abilities comes into play. Sweating. Now, I do need to address an inaccuracy I made in a previous video. My most viewed video- Yeah, I remember that humans were supposed to be the only thing that sweats, right? That's why we're so cool. What, you telling me we don't even have that? So what, we're just smart. Huh. Video to okay. date, are humans OP, where I say the ability to sweat is uniquely human. Yeah, this isn't that. entirely accurate. Horses also have the ability to sweat in order to dissipate heat. However, they're nowhere near as efficient at cooling down via sweating as humans Losers. are. For one main reason, body hair. Sweat doesn't evaporate off of a horse's body as easily it does a human, because sweat gets trapped in the hair on a horse's body. As such, humans still absolutely crush horses in terms of thermoregulation during distance running. But sweating is still an extremely powerful ability that Yo, massively reduces a player's loss of stamina of during a run, and thereby greatly increases the potential distance a what player can pretty? travel. Anyways, if during a chase the horse player finds itself somehow unable to completely avoid an attack, that's when the other signature equine ability comes into play, their kick. Bro. Now, in <laughs> I swear to God, Goose is some of the dumbest motherfuckers out there. In relation to more typical combat moves, like biting, swiping, and stinging, kicking is generally Seven seen as a rather janky uh, attack style, uh. mostly used as either a desperate combo breaker attempt, Ooh. or the best option available to builds which haven't Damn, spec their characters to allow for better combat Oi. moves. Generally, oh, you, he double leg ball kicked him. Oh, yeah. One for each ball, I Speaking, guess. kicks Let's don't deal back. that much damage. They're fairly telegraphed and easy to dodge, and they can even throw the user off balance if they miss. <laughs> However, if we take a look at the horse's kick, we see an entirely <laughs> different picture again, balance if they miss. <laughs> However, if we take a look at the horse's kick, we see an entirely different picture. The horse's oh kick hits with a force of around 2,000 PSI putting it well above the power of a jaguar bite, and just a bit below the power right, of- Listen, he said 2,000 PSI. Uh, I was like, ooh, that's a lot. I don't understand how much that is. So let's just say that's a lot. ...of a crocodile bite. Both of those builds fell above the power of a jaguar bite, and okay. just a bit below the power of a crocodile bite. Both oh. of those builds are top tier specifically Damn. because of their incredible bite damage. So having a kick of roughly equivalent power is extremely useful. However, plenty of large builds have no issue dealing damage. Moose, Elk, Wildebeest, and other large ungulate builds can threaten insane damage if they connect with a charging oh, slam. Man. However, attacks like that are incredibly telegraphed, and most players have a decent amount of practice dodging them. In contrast, a horse's kick has incredible frame data, Ow. to the point where it's basically unreactable if you're within range, what which I should add things? can be deceptively far. This makes approaching a defending equine player a lot more risky than most herbivore builds. However, the horse's kick has synergies that increase its there was that one video of a horse kicking the jaw of a tiger, I think. That shit was rad. Utility far beyond what can be explained by its base damage and frame data. When it comes to defending themselves from attacking carnivore players, equine builds are at a huge advantage. Let me explain. So, most There's herbivore so builds there. have only two options when confronted with an adversary. <laughs> fight or flight. That thing's kinda Carnivore cute. players know this, and tailor their strategy to take advantage of the defending player's limited options. Okay. When wolves hunt large prey, like elk, their main advantage is to break the defending player's nerve and frighten it into fleeing. They will not commit to an attack if the defending player chooses to stand and fight. However, they will continue to pressure it with bluff charges and fakeouts, 
hoping to bait out a defensive so attack. Small. However, as mentioned before, these counterattacks are slow enough to be dodged on reality. Hey, listen. I saw a moose and I know a thing about moose. They swim faster than they walk or something like that. They swim pretty fast. So if a moose goes in water, you are still fucked, okay? Action, quickly lowering the elk's morale, especially as the rest of its herd likely gets further and further away. It's only after a prey animal starts fleeing that these predators will actually try to deal damage bear. by attacking the hindquarters. Bear, what are you doing, bear? To inflict heavy bleed buildup. Oof. In order to stop these attacks, most herbivores will once again stop and turn to face their attackers, which just resets the situation back to the first phase. Horses, zebras, and donkeys can completely thwart this plan of attack, as their kick grants them an extremely valuable option, the ability to counterattack while fleeing. Since they don't need to stop and face their attackers in order to deal damage, and because their kicks are harder to dodge than horn Bro. charges, zebras have one of the highest KD ratios against lions and hunting dogs in the game. While it might Really? Wow. Might not be as impressive and showy as oh, having huge. Another thing, yo, I'm full of information today. Do you know that uh, deer and mooses actually shed their horns? Shit's wild. That's what you see there. It's probably not the blood of something else. It's probably its own blood. That's crazy, bro. And it's also disgusting. Horns or antlers. There's no denying goats, that this strategy though. is extremely effective at warding off attacks and escaping danger. On top of all the other benefits, kicking also allows the equine player to keep its vitals well out of reach and isn't exposing itself. Yo, that guy just started a civil war. No, to a critical hit counterattack, like some horn users do when they attack. Oof. It does have its limitations though. Kicking backwards requires specific oh, positioning, which, unless your character has 360 degree vision, will make your attacks less accurate. And on the odd chance that your opponent Ooh. does get in front of you and land a grab before you're able to turn away, your options to fight back will be fairly limited, and nowhere near as powerful. I know that uh, asses, they bite. I don't know about horses and bites though. Yeah. Now, I do want to mention Donkey's that unlike crazy. many ruminant herbivores, which only have lower teeth, <laughs> equine players do possess a full set of upper and lower teeth that are able to deliver quite powerful bites. So they aren't completely helpless when facing an enemy head on. Yep. But nonetheless, the unidirectional <laughs> nature of their strongest Oof. attack option does mean that some counterplay is available. Next, let's discuss the advantages and disadvantages of the different variants of the equine build. Okay. We'll start with the horse, the most well-known of the bunch. Horses I, undoubtedly have- There are like 20 million ver versions of horses, right? Like, look at that thing. That thing is a tank. The horses we have in Bulgaria, no tank. The best base stats of the group, with okay, higher power and more HP Jesus. being the most obvious things that scale with size. They've also got the fastest top speed. However, perhaps even more importantly, the horse's higher intelligence stat enables cross-species team strategies, which can lead to some incredibly broken combos. Zebras have a slightly lower base stat. Why does that seem so... Look at these. Look at... what, Bro... What if you hit the horse in the head? Zebras have a slightly lower base stat total, although this change isn't really enough to affect their playstyle. They're still perfectly capable of escaping attacks using their speed and endurance, and punishing overly aggressive enemies with a devastating kick. Okay. In addition to all this though, the zebra's unique stripe pattern yes. grants it a few extra bonus perks. What? Because this pattern helps break up their outline and obscure their position, especially when grouped up, Attacks against zebras incur a slight accuracy penalty. Surprisingly, really? this debuff even applies. I thought it would be the other way around, cause uh, like, like they ch animals change color to better match their surrounding. Right? These motherfuckers are white and black in the savanna or whatever Africa. There's nothing white and black there. I mean. Uh, I will stop the- Okay. ...lies to insects, okay. resulting in zebras <laughs> taking significantly less damage from parasites than other similarly sized builds. Oh. In exchange though, the zebra's intelligence stat is a fair bit lower, to the point where zebra- Did you just put your hand near a zebra's mouth? You crazy mother, don't do it. Zebras are unable no, to engage don't, don't. in the same team combos Bruh. as horses. Donkeys Bruh. are a bit of an outlier group, with the lowest power stat of the group. They have the highest intelligence stat, but tend to actually prefer solo play. They can be trained to become a useful party member, but they aren't naturally suited to this style of gameplay. And although they're quite capable of dishing out serious damage with their kicks, donkey mains also tend to favor the bite move in combat. A somewhat poorly optimized build in my opinion. What? It's no surprise- Hey bro, in some villages, people use donkeys instead of uh, dogs to protect the goats and the other hurt animals. Real shit.
Donkeys are scary. Do not fuck with a donkey. Is that despite you horses and zebras you. having quite solid matchups against both canid and felid opponents, donkeys end up experiencing a fair bit of difficulty in part due to their smaller size, but also because maybe they just don't realize the potential power of a well-placed kick. Of the three main equine classes, it's a tough call which one I think is the most viable. Wow. I think they're definitely all at least high B tier. Personally, I do think horses take the top spot, and I'd even give them the rank of low A tier. See, despite being originally from the North American server, horses have successfully established invasive populations all across the overworld, including places in Africa that even zebras have difficulty surviving in. This is the premise for the incredible documentary Africa's Stallions of the Namo West. Desert, which chronicles ah. the descendants of a small group of horses abandoned by World War I soldiers a century ago. This documentary is available to watch right now on CuriosityStream, the sponsor of today's video. Curiosity Stream is an amazing subscription streaming yes, service with thousands of high-quality documentaries and non-fiction titles. In addition to Stallions of the Nama Desert, Curiosity Stream also has a bunch of my personal favorite documentaries, including Out of the Cradle and Amazing Dino. I was gonna make a joke, but it might come off a little racist, so I'm not gonna make the joke, okay? In addition, every new Curiosity Stream member also gets access to Nebula, a streaming service made by and for creators like myself. I'm currently working hard putting together a brand new fully 3D animated original Versus series. But in the meantime, I also Ooh. recommend some of the originals made by fellow creators, oh, such as the Modern Conflict series made by YouTuber Real Life Lore. It's especially oh, relevant in today's map. Oi, oi, uh, uh, okay, let's end it here. We're getting a little too, uh, shit, we might get, hey, I, I, I'm real close to Ukraine, okay? I don't want no Russians to invade me in Bulgaria, okay? Uh, just relax. We ain't got no gas. Relax. <laughs> anyway, I'm back, everybody, okay? I'm gonna be streaming real soon, probably tomorrow. If you want to find out more about that, check out the Discord. Anyway, I hope y'all have a nice day. I'll see y'all next time, okay? For sure, I ain't disappearing again, probably. Maybe not, I don't know. Listen. Bye, everybody.